Good, you? How's it going, Blake? Hey, good, and you? Good. I have two for you. Number one, as far as media day goes, do you guys take it in at all? Or do you just accept how much people are here? Yeah, you know, uh, we like to take everything in, you know, whether that be media, whether that be, you know, yesterday, you know, most like, you know, my last practice in uh, Shim Beckler Hall and, you know, just taking this whole thing in. It's just a great experience and just blessed to be here. Big Ten Media Day, you said you had one goal this year, you had unfinished business is the word you used. Now that you're one game away from finishing that business that you came back for, have you kind of sunk in the magnitude of this game for you guys? You know, I, I haven't, and I haven't even taken in really the win that we had last week just because I'm so laser focused on finishing the job. Um, I, I know this is the biggest game of my career. I know, you know, what I bring to the table, I just got to bring me. You know, I got to do what I, what I can do uh, for our team and, um, you know, let the game speak for itself. You know, after 60 minutes, look back and just know I gave it everything I had. But, uh, you know, I'm just so locked in right now, and uh, we'll be ready. Yeah, you know, uh, 2020 was a tough year for everyone. You know, COVID, we went two and four. And, um, you know, we, we changed, we had to change the culture. And the culture wasn't what it was supposed to be. And ever since then, ever since 2021, we've really become brothers. And it all started in the locker room. Um, just everyone, you know, congregating with everyone and just laughing and having fun with each other, just knowing I got my brothers back and no matter the situation. And that's where it all started. And once we became brothers and really had that strong foundation of brotherhood, uh, we've been successful ever since. Oh, 100 percent. You know, uh, it was always, you know, for us, Houston or bust. And I even said it, I believe it was back in February at uh, one of the Michigan basketball games, you know, and I got had the mic in front of the Chrysler Arena. And I told the fans, like, I promise you we're going to win a national championship. And we haven't done it yet. So we have to make sure we just stay locked in this week. You know, the hay's never in the barn. And um, just make sure we watch as much film as we can over these next couple of days and make sure we're prepared for Monday. But this is everything, you know, I dreamed of. It's everything I came back for. And, um, you know, I'm just blessed to be here. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Um, can you kind of give us, like, what was it like a year ago um, when you were kind of going through the injuries? Where were you at just mentally and emotionally? Yeah, it was tough um, just because, you know, I've been playing football since the age of six, and I've never had an injury that sat me out, you know, like, like that one did. And um, especially during the season, you know, the team was having. I just wanted to be there for my guys. Um, so it, it put me in a, in, a, in a deep hole, you know, a hole that I, I've never been in uh, just mentally. Um, and I, I had to find a way to get out, you know, I'm a firm believer in God, you know, God helped me along my journey, you know, my family, my sisters, my mom and dad, my girlfriend, you know, everyone just helped me uh, along the journey and, um, you know, I was able to get out and, you know, because of my injury, it made me a better man. And uh, so I'm blessed to have gone through something like that, but it, it was tough, it was tough. You know, I understand, you know, something about me is I'm always trying to uplift people um, no matter what. You know, if they're having a bad day, I'm always there for them, trying to put a smile on their face, just letting them know it's okay. And when I got hurt, I wasn't listening to what I always preached. And so that made me understand I have to practice what I preach at all times. And so, therefore, I think that's made me a better leader, a better captain. Um, you know, and just going through adversity, you know. So when we went through adversity this year, I was always there for my guys and, and letting them know that, you know, this is just something small. There's always, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel, and we're going to be okay as long as we stick together. So, you know, just everything that happened last year and the journey that it put me on has helped me become a better leader and better captain. I know it was a long time ago, but uh, your game against Washington in 2021, what do you remember about that game? You know, it was a little bit of an out-party for you. Yeah, I remember it was a maze out. Um, it was electric. Uh, we, we had a maze out. The fans were great, and I expect them to be great Monday. Um, you know, I, I believe I went for, I don't know, 150, maybe 150 plus, a couple touchdowns. And so, uh, you know, it was definitely a great game. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't really think about uh, either of those games. I'm only focused on the biggest game right now, the biggest game of my life. 
and, you know, I'm going to make sure, you know, everything I do, uh, everything I've done so far this week and everything I will do to, until Monday, you know, will make sure it pays off uh, come the end of 60 minutes, you know, Monday night. How you doing? You know, that's hard to do. You know, it's, it's hard to do, uh, to go a whole season, you know, not losing a game. And, you know, both both teams have had very close games, you know, games they might have could have lost. You know, we've, we've had one or two, and, you know, they've had some. And so, uh, you know, it's incredibly, you know, awesome to have two undefeated teams going into the national championship game. And it makes the game even better. You know, there's something, yeah, you have to lose the national championship, but someone's going to end up going 14-1. and one. And so, uh, you know, we definitely don't want that to be us, so we're going to do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen, but it, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you know, C Coach Harbaugh did say that, um, and I think that's what this team is, is, is doing. You know, I think, you know, we're ready to eat our last meal. Um, we're all hungry. You know, we're not full at all. We're starving. And so we, we understand that, like, you know, last week's game was cool. Last week's game was fun. And we can talk about that, but we have to stick at the task at hand right now and focus on the job that we, we have to finish. And after that, we can talk about the Rose Bowl. We can talk about the National Championship. But right now, you know, we're just focused on, you know, our practice, practice, executing at a high level, you know, paying attention to detail, making sure we can watch as much film as we can to make sure, you know, Monday, you know, we come out uh, on top and make sure, uh, you know, we make all our Michigan fans happy, Michigan alum, and, and Michigan happy. How you doing? I was young. Like I said, I started playing football at the age of six. Um, and I've been watching football ever since, you know, college, NFL. You know, so this is something I've always dreamed of, you know, just getting to this stage, getting the opportunity to play uh, in the national championship. And, and what a blessing it is. You know, I just thank God so much for allowing me to be here. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I'm just uh, so thankful, so thankful to uh, be given this opportunity. It's truly a blessing. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it means a lot. It, it means a lot just because, you know, uh, this is the last year of it. And so we have to go out on the top. We have to go out of the bang. And, yeah, people remember, you know, the first time you do something, but they really remember the last time. And so, uh, you know, it's an exciting game, uh, a lot at stake. But, uh, you know, we're super excited. We wouldn't want it any other way. And uh, we'll be ready for, um, for Monday. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time, like you said, 97, which was a great team. And, you know, Michigan has had great teams uh, since then. But, uh, you know, I, I think um, since it's been such a long time, it makes the stage even bigger just because, you know, Michigan being Michigan. Um, you know, it, it makes it even bigger. So, you know, we're, we're super excited. We're super blessed to be able to be in this situation, but we have to come out on top, man. We, we have to make sure, you know, we're locked in, we play as brothers, we play the Michigan way. And um, if we do that, you know, I think, uh, you know, after the game, we'll be happy with uh, the results. Uh, you know, your initial thoughts on Washington front seven and the challenges that they present as far as what you want to do Yeah, you know, Mar Washington's front seven, you know, they're big, strong, especially interior, um, big, strong guys. Uh, guys that, you know, build, build a wall. Um, and then, you know, you go to the DNs, you know, they're they're fast, strong, long. They can play DN, they can play linebacker. You know, so just they're, uh, they're great athletes. They're great athletes that stick to the coach's plan. And, you know, they're definitely going to provide us with a challenge, but, you know, not a challenge that we're not up for. You know, so I'm super excited to get to play the Washington Huskies. Yeah, you know, we, we must start fast, you know, whether that be in the pass game or the run game. But, you know, we must assert our dominance. 
and show them, you know, we're not there to, you know, for, to play around. Um, so I think it would be very important just to, you know, have a well diverse game, but you know, start start early. You know, whether like I said, that'd be, you know, passing, you know, running the ball. We must start early in whatever we do, uh, just because you know Washington does have a, a g great offense, but you know we do have the number one defense, and so uh, it's going to be a great matchup. You know, I think you know both teams are are here for a reason, and you know it's a blessing that we're both here, and uh, you know we're going to go out there and, and give everyone a good show, and uh, I'm super excited. You know, uh, how do we avoid burnout? That's, that's easy. Just because, you know, we know what the end goal is. And, you know, something about my team, we're not going to stop until we finish the job. And, you know, uh, this is something we, you know, we've been thinking about for years and we just were never able to get it. You know, we always, last two years, we lost in the college football playoffs and had to go back to the drawing board, you know, just trying to get it over and over again. And we, we're finally here now. So we, we, we got it. We got it by the neck, but, you know, we, we, we ain't kill it yet. And so, um, you know, we, we have to, uh, you know, make sure, you know, come Monday we're prepared for any type of situation we may get in. But, um, you know, that's how we don't get burned out, just because we're so laser focused on the job at hand and what we want. Oh, that's very important, and I, I tell everyone, like, you know, football is my passion, but giving back is my purpose, and I really believe that. I believe, you know, God put me on this earth for something way bigger than football. I think I'm just, you know, given the ability to use my football platform to help many others, and, uh, you know, it's truly a blessing, you know, something that, um, you know, I'm going to do the rest of my life. I have some big things coming up uh, in the community, um, especially with starting my uh, soon-to-be, you know, nonprofit. And so I'm super excited, you know, just to help anyone that I can, you know, any chance I get, you know, just to try to make the world a better place. I think uh, if we all, you know, come together as one, you know, this world would be a, would be a better place. And so, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and sometimes it only takes one person, you know, it only takes one person and then others will start to follow. So I believe uh, I'm just trying to use my platform the best that I can the way that God would want me to. It would mean everything to me, you know, something, you know, I've worked for, you know, my whole life, uh, you know, growing up, like, I never really hung out with friends. Um, I always worked out, I was always training, and, you know, just because I had these goals and dreams in mind, and, you know, this would definitely be another uh, stepping stone of mine. And so, um, you know, it, it would mean everything to come out on top, come out victorious, and just check another box off along my journey. And, uh, you know, but it's, it's just a blessing to be here. Uh, you know, the, the Ohio State one, that was such a good one because it came right after my big guy, Zach Zinner, got hurt. So that one's definitely going to stick with me. But, you know, I don't, you know, last Monday, um, that was special, you know. But, uh, you know, it's taking a team effort, you know. Yeah, I scored a touchdown, and but it's taking a team effort, you know. My guys up front, the receivers, the tight ends, they have all, they all helped me get into the end zone. And, you know, it's not a one-man show. And, um, but, you know, that, that one right there, just because it was, you know, such a great game, you know, in overtime. Um, so uh, those are two tough ones, you know. I don't know which one I, I, I like the most. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, definitely people can look at, you know, what I've done and say I want to stay. But it's also all about what you want, you know. For me, I wanted to leave a legacy. For me, I wanted to be remembered, you know, forever, you know, not just for, you know, scoring some touchdowns and stuff like that. But I wanted to leave a bigger legacy on and off the field. And, you know, that was one of my main reasons in coming back. But, you know, one of my other main reasons was coming back is being here today. So, um, you know, I think for me it was the, a great idea to come back just because that's what I wanted. But it also, it just depends on what you want at the end of the day. Um, you know, some people are different. But uh, I think definitely people can use me as a, a reason on why to come back uh, to any school. 
Hey, good to you. Nice to see you. Part of the narrative for this game has been strength on strength being Washington's offense You know, we just want to show, uh, you know, we're not here to play any games. You know, we're here for strictly business. We're here to play a great football game. And, you know, we're here to start our dominance and um, obviously come out victorious. And so, you know, like you said, you know, Washington has a great offense. Um, and Washington has a great defense, you know, but we have a terrific defense and we have a great offense. And so it's, it's going to be a good one come Monday. Um, but, we, you know, we just want to start fast and show them that, you know, uh, it's, it's going to be a long game. And um, we're not here uh, to play around. We're here to play a great football game and may the best man win. Yeah, we, we said that uh, like day one at camp and uh, and this whole season has been process over prize just because, you know, we've, we've gone through a lot, you know, a lot of adversity, a lot of trials and tribulations, you name it. You know, we've, we've been through it, but we always stuck to the process. We never got distracted. And because we stuck to the process, uh, we are here today, you know, as, as brothers and as the University of Michigan and as the Wolverines. And so, um, you know, it's been process over prize ever since the first day of camp and uh, I'm glad we st we stuck to the plan. Say, say that one more time. Oh. Uh, oh man, you know Michi. Um, his story, very inspiring, you know, to the point of like, you know, even on my bad day, it's like, dang, it wasn't as bad as his, but you, you couldn't tell, you know, you couldn't really tell what Michi was going through because he was just so strong, you know, mentally, physically. Ladies and gentlemen, and, please um, stand by as the Michigan players he just, rotate podiums. He did everything he could um, to live out each day to the fullest. And so that's what we should do as humans, you know, no matter what we may go through, if we think it's something big, you know, there's there's people out there that are really going through tough times and they're not acting like it, so why should we? And so, you know, his, his story is super inspiring. Uh, you know, God bless him. I know he's looking over us. Uh, yeah, meet you, man. I don't know exactly how the crown started, but uh, hey, it's been it's been fun. You know, he does it all the time. You know, he crowns everyone because I guess I think he said he sees us as kings, and uh, you know that's that's something number nine does. Uh, it's, it's amazing. You know, there's going to be a guy that wants you right out there on, the, on that carpet, and then you can go back to your position group. 